Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode one of Husen's Gloria or Prussia, Glory to Prussia, whatever. I don't know how to speak German, but regardless, welcome. Hope you guys are excited for the campaign. I certainly am. Today we are going to be playing as Brandenburg and we are going to form the kingdom of Prussia or the kingdom in Prussia, depending on whichever way Austria or whoever happens to be emperor feels about me. More info on that imperial incident later. But um, hope you guys are excited for the campaign. There is no light goal associated with this campaign. This campaign will be twice daily uploads, though I believe this first episode will be the only one for today because we have the creator clash going on over at twitch.tv slash shoot. But uh, I don't want to do too much for that. Right now, I want to talk about Prussia and Brandenburg. This is in the 1.30 Emperor patch. First one, embargo dropped today. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe. And if you ding the bell, it'll send you a notification for every episode of this, ep this campaign that goes live. As well as all my other content. I upload videos every single day. I work hard for you guys and I hope you enjoy it. Um... Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you are most excited to see in this campaign. If there's something in Europe that you're certain that you're thinking about and you want to tell me about, I'm curious. I want to know as much about EU4 1.30 Emperor as you guys have to throw at me. I know I've done a couple of guides here and I've read, done some reads of the uh, dev diaries, but those sorts of things. Um, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Um, but uh, without too much further ado, let's get into the campaign, guys. Welcome, welcome my friends. The time is finally here. We are in 1.30 Emperor. I hope you guys are half as excited as I am. I have been looking forward to this campaign for quite literally months. So let's jump into a little bit of lore here surrounding the von Hohen Hohenzollern dynasty of Brandenburg. The recent history of the, of the March of Brandenburg has been a sad state of affairs. With poor soils, swamps, and wild forests, Brandenburg is not the richest lands in the HRE. And under the, von, under the Bittersbach and Luxembourg rule, uh, the region has been treated as a source of quick income. With the ascendance of the Hohenzollern dynasty, things have slowly begun to change. Frederick I spent his entire reign wearing down the influence of the Brandenburg estates and uh, fighting the prevalent lawlessness, sending his armies against the castles of many robber barons that have... For long been a free reign had a free reign over the region in many ways frederick the second the iron was proven to be his father's son assume, uh, resuming the policies intended to rush the power of local uh potentates i'm not sure what that word is and greedy burgers he has also sent out feelers to the teutonic order for the reclamation of newmark the a land originally part of brandenburg but pawed and pawned pawned by his predecessors the difficulty in asserting state power is ample amply demonstrated by the Kalmar Union kingdoms of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, where a king attempting to achieve similar goals was recently deposed and replaced by a, a Bavarian von, von Wittesbach. And uh, if Brandenburg is to be made a durable state, it must remain united, avoiding squabbles like those among the Witten dynasty or heirs in the Elector Saxony in the south. The nearby kingdoms of Poland and Bohemia are both without heirs in 1444 as one as a direct result of the failed crusade of Varna against the Ottomans, May he rest in peace. And um, and the other, due to the rejection of the Habsburg heir, Ladislaus the Posthumous, by the Bohemian nobility. Despite the Bohemian lands still not having recovered from the Hussite Wars, the last decade of the heretic Hussites remain a, a strong faction in Bohemian politics, making the kingdom a cause for concern among its neighbors, Brandenburg included. So, our Catholic, and we will... You know, see a lot of cool, interesting changes as uh, Catholics. Uh, we are a monarchy, and we are in the HRE, and we are German. This is us. Forgive my, uh, you know, graphics. This is truly vanilla 1.30. And uh, with that being said, there may be a couple of tweaks and updates to expect. Um, this is an early access copy, so bear with me. But anyways... Let's start off by seeing here. We can build up three more men, and we shall do that. We are rivaled by Teutonic Order, which is nice. Look how it highlights them now. Brunswick, Saxony, and Stettin. So Saxony has been cut in half and now has a PU over Thuringia. 
Pomerania has been broken in half and has a... Oh, no, no, no. They're they're separate. Okay. And uh, Silesia has been cut in half. Uh, France has been obliterated, but arguably is stronger than they were before. So we have low crown land. 29. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually correct. That might change at the monthly tick. So can we afford a leader? We will... Get you up. Mm. We'll hold off for now for money's purposes. And we will hit that fort there and hit that there. So, trade is fine. We will ally the Emperor if we can. Absolutely. Always a good call. Uh, we may go for a uh, Emperor ship early on. I don't see why we wouldn't. So, hmm. Check this out. Hussites. Heretics by the Catholic and the state religion. So, the question is, is who do we try to push for early on? Do we ally Bohemia? Do we look for friends elsewhere? Cologne is rival to Brunswick. So they seem like a natural friend to have. Especially if we wanted to eventually make our way into the HRE. Okay, let's unpause now. He's allied to Lithuania and Saxlonburg. Um, chancellery or corruption for clergy loyalty. Clergy lose 1% of land. That sounds good to me because that goes to me then. Beautiful. So couple of these guys I've been looking at this so this is completely new obviously uh, there is no more just buttons to get points instantly what you can do is you can summon a diet which will uh, give you an agenda which is essentially that tells you hey do this and you will get this bonus and so what we're gonna do we'll take a look at our mission tree which is all freshly new reclaim new mark is a is a classic we've had that one on Spock okay gives us permanent claims 15 provinces in uh, North Germany, which will give us permanent claims on Saxony, Anhalt, Lower Saxony, Vesa, and Ostfriesland. A couple of the traditional uh, HRE, generic HRE missions. Professional army. 50% army professionalism. Reform the Brandenburg army. Okay. Matter of Berlin. Hey, look, Friedrich de Grossa. Okay, and that's uh, Friedrich the, uh, I believe, I can't remember, Friedrich Wilhelm the First. I want to say. I think he was uh, Friedrich the, the, the Friedrich the Great's father. Might be wrong there. So, I have not seen any reason to not click this button, because you get mercantilism, you get wool production, and you don't get income from wool, but uh, it is my understanding that it is probably worth. Plus, it gives them 10. So now, for those of you who don't know, you do not gain immediate loyalty like you used to you get a boost in equilibrium so their equilibrium is now 43 but if we give them a monopoly on uh, mining and smelting and livestock you get a little bit of money we get mercantilism and their equilibrium now will trend towards 63 pretty good right same here textiles that's fine uh monetary policy Suppose we don't need that because we don't have any um, inflation growth. But um, free enterprise sounds good. There's no further modifiers. Just get lowers our autonomy and gives them, um, uh, or I mean, at maximum absolutism, which doesn't matter. And it gives them influence, which is fine because they hardly have any. Um, patronage of the arts sounds good. Instant 15 prestige. I love that. And then monthly Diplo power, but I don't want to give them any land. So we're not going to give anybody any land today. So that gets them up to 60, which is great. These guys could definitely do with a bit of uh, extra love. Oversight by the clergy, which has no effects per se. Uh, admin advisor cost with stability cost modifier. We're going to stay away from that one. Okay. Clergy land rights sounds good as well. Oops, I think I misread that. Oh, dang it. Gives them some land. It's fine. 
We live and learn, I suppose. So, let's summon a diet. And uh, now it says Potsdam, base tax at least 5. Altmark, manpower at least 4. Or, uh, get a port in provinces. <laughs> and we get a claim on Stetten, and we get burger loyalty and sailors. So I think the man... Let's go with the base tax. What do we have as a base tax right now in Potsdam? Potsdam. Is it still a province? Or oh, here it is. So we need two base tax there. So we can do that. Um, we have gone a few days. We probably want to find a strong ally over here. We want to ally Cologne. Yeah, ally Trier. Let's uh, get this elector over here. The Palatinate. It's rival Brunswick. Which will allow us to ally him, I assume. Come on now. The Great Bullion Famine. Um, we often pay in gold to import sulk, alum, spices, and pearls from the east. As trade between east and west becomes increasingly frequent, the deficient of gold in Europe becomes uh, more apparent. Or the deficit. I cannot read. I'm sorry, guys. Gold has become an increasingly rare commodity in our world. The demand for these luxuries has not increased. Gain access to a source of gold outside of Europe and put an end to this bullion famine. First Christian European power to secure a new source of gold will reap great benefits. Affiliate rival. None of them. Wait one more month and we can get them. And uh, in the meantime... Just looking around, making sure there's no, like, good alliances that I should 100% be thinking about. Let's get that one as well. Imperial Ambition. Hmm. Sure. That will certainly give me the boost I need. An extra diplomat is always nice. So the Kingdom of Italy and the Empire for now, years now, the Imperial Authority over the Kingdom of Italy has been waning. Successive electors, or emperors, have failed to impose their will on the Italian states as they have begun to act with total disregard for imperial laws and custom. Unless the wayward nations of northern Italy are firmly reined in soon, Italy may slip out of the imperial control forever. So, let's see now. Papacy looks a bit different, as you can see. We uh, now can uh, give the Pope man some money for a little bit of extra papal influence. Um, gain one yearly papal influence over five years. Uh, Pope will appreciate this. It's not that much, so let's do that. That'll help out our uh, relations with him as well as um, give us a bit of extra buff there. So we're going to be Catholic for a while, so we might as well use it, right? So who are you rivaled to? Essa? Hmm. Magdeburg. I wonder... Would anybody be interested in being diplo vassalized here? For my influence. Offer vassalization to Anhal. They are the most willing to accept, but I am not big enough. Okay, I believe if you're the emperor, they're much more willing. So Mecklenburg has allied a bunch of people. So that's not going to happen. You guys are allied to Poland, so that's not going to happen. You guys are allied to Brunswick and Friesland, so... Rival Volgast if we can. Yes. And then let's rival... Rival Saxony. Good. And let's ally you. How are we looking at our election? So, we will obviously vote for ourselves. We already are. So, we currently... Would win. Beautiful. Well, let us get some relations improved with some people. Obviously, we want to make sure that that is uh, something we are taking advantage of. Let's recall our relations with the Pope. Trier is not even close. Mines would, probably. I don't see why we don't ally them. Yes, I will definitely Royal Mary Austria. 
strong royal marriage with them is certainly in our our best interest. Let's take some time to be improve relations. Get our friendships nice and high with these guys. The sooner we can secure ourselves as an um as the emperor next would be better. Very good. A nice little alliance network to start it off. You can see Imperial Authority gain is uh, definitely been buffed. Let's turn this game music up just a little bit. There we go. I feel like that's still quite quiet. There we go. Apologies. Whenever I installed it, I had uh, had to wipe out all my old files, so... A lot of my old settings have been changed. So, the Curie controller has picked a golden bull. So this is a new new thing as well. Prince Elector, by virtue of the powers granted to him by God, the Pope has decided to bless us, enacting the following golden bull. Christiana Pietas. Get it. 5% dev cost and tolerance of heathens. Too. Heathens or heretics? Misread it, I think. Oh, it says heathens. So we need two admin clicks here. So let us uh, do this local dev cost here. And next month we can click it again. And then that will give us our thing. Beautiful. Every, uh, so the clergy gain 10 loyalty and we gain 10 prestige. So this is affecting us quite net badly. Liberty desire from subjects development. I guess that's not too bad. 10% tax modifier is pretty hurtful, but... definitely not worth losing 20 loyalty from him. We also want to make sure we boost our stability. Ah, Palatinate, man. I would still win right now. I mean, the fact that it's all divided up, like, why are you Saluzo? Aren't they, like, down here? Yeah, that's really weird. That's <laughs> quite weird, actually. Let us... Do all these clicks here. Make sure everybody loves me. Can I proclaim a guarantee? I cannot. They're far too rich and powerful, but with mines I can, so I will. Palatinate, sir. There we go. Definitely want to get some more going here. ASAP. Yes, I love this event. Very good. The purchase of new marks. So two free taxes or two free provinces. See Newmark to Brandenburg. Gain a Koran Newmark and uh Dromberg. And the Teutons like me, but uh, I do not care at all about that. So now we get permanent claims up here. So that means we can prepare an attack up here. I assume their army is right here or in Strassen. Uh, so this is actually a few provinces up here. So it's three, four, five. So they're not, not tiny. Um, here. We'll see what we can come up with. Surrender of Maine. Let's teach them how to war. Very good. So... Rise on, Farah. Seeing anybody that's jumping right out of me. Poland has a one-year-old heir. Oh, no, no. They don't want to marry me. They're going to get their Jigalian event here pretty soon. Probably pull Cologne. So let's take a look. Brunswick and Friesland would join. I think I could handle that solo. But... Hmm. Would rather not if I don't have to. Problem is, is that none of my friends are going to be willing to join. Okay. We're just going to have to play it safe here. We do have another force limit, so that's pretty good. 
Um, let's see here. Is it worth investing our love into somebody else? These guys are really struggling to like me. Wait, wait, and we wait, and we wait some more. Confident that I could beat up on these guys, but uh, it's more about I don't want to make a risk early on that I will be paying for for a long time. Oh, yo, Poland did not take the Jagellion. Okay, they went with let us appoint a local noble instead. Well, that just, uh, goodbye Poland. They just nerfed themselves very tough. So we want all this state, all this state, and all this state, and then we'll probably end up consolidating over here. We're probably going to be playing pretty tall this campaign. Um, I really want to get some Prussian Space Marines. Max Lohenberg. Union with Mecklenburg, which I assume I would be able to, pro to contest. I think that this is certainly worth attempting to go for. We might lose a couple of Diplo points, but we will uh, get a PU on them if their guy dies. So he's pretty old. So let us get this out. And I need to make sure that I have my message settings turned on to tell me. Mm hmm. Interesting. Another country gets a new monarch. Message currently is not displayed. So it will display as a pop up. Pretender seizes the throne. Sounds good. Country claims a third nation's. But another country claims a third nation's throne. Interesting. Okay, very good. So as long as we have all these guys marked as important, we will get. Um, notices whenever they do things obviously is good for us we want to make sure we know what's going on around the world right stay in yeah. stay informed here he has declared war on novgorod we can safely click this now hmm They're trending upwards. Yes. So next month we can revoke Crown Land. We seek Ottoman protection. So strong Ottomans are right now. So far, still no wars down there for them yet. As of oh, he got an heir. Suck. Suck and I hate you. Break your royal marriage. Watch the stability. Do it. Do it. You hate me. Do it. Doesn't want to do it. Electress Catherine has died. Friedrich II von Hohenzollern. Okay, we really do need to start considering this attack here soon. Our um, our election is pretty much good. Jiri, Jiri is a pro abroad. The Hussites and they are Hussites. They've embraced the Hussite faith. Okay, infantry combat ability and missionary strength versus heretics. Very cool. Neapolitan succession. Let us follow Alphonse' last testament. We'll become. Independent, ruled by the son of Alfonso V. Very cool. So Naples has an event to be uh, independent now. So they've allied the Teutons. That is not ideal. These guys are allied to Poland. These guys are allied to uh, nobody. Let's get a claim over here. Which you will actually see. You have to get 30 AE now. Or 30... Um, Need to be at least 26. Oh, our traditions? Really? So, oh, right. So we have different traditions now. 15% construction cost. We are no longer have Brush Prussian traditions. We have uh, Brandenburgian. Very interesting. 
So we have 20% fabrication claims and 15% uh, construction cost. Infantry combat ability, national tax modifier, stab cost. Um, Pomeranian Wars, interesting. So we get some morale. Uh, Diplo rep and Imperial Authority modifier. I like that. Is that literally just like a flat 0.1 a month you get no matter what? That would be in incredible. National unrest and uh, nobility and burger equilibrium loyalty. Nice. And then state maintenance whenever we finish all that. Interesting. I have not seen any of that before. So, matter of fact, I didn't even think to look. So, this guy doesn't want to break. Uh, Danish nobles. Better not be coming into my capital. We'll have some problems. Oh. Poor Mecklenburg. Getting his butt kicked. And the succession of Bohemia is... In question, nobody's going to want to be his friend now because he is uh, a heretic. He is backing Seely, which is uh, this Celia County over here. I like that. So I need to wait until either one of these guys isn't willing to join. So you can see here, they would uh, severely outnumber me if we were to attack them. They would have a 72,000 force limit, and I'll only have a 22,000 force limit. Um... Oh, no, no, that's manpower. Ah, okay. So it's their reserves plus their men in the field, I assume. Because mine is 12 plus 11, so that makes sense. Okay. Oh, might as well improve with the, uh, the emperor here. We're going to be wrapping up this first episode here. Not very eventful, but uh, we certainly are setting ourselves up for diplomatic success. As soon as Friedrich III down here decides to uh, commit not alive anymore, we will be a new emperor of the HRE, and that will give us a lot more power to build up. Um, so check this out. Let's see here. Because when I um, did a test run... Uh, I guess I can't. Oh, yeah, you can see right here. They have 20,000 and 35,000 uh, manpower in reserve right now. Uh, does it say? So I have to check this in the ledger. Check this out. Austria. Force limit, 63,000. So mine would probably be in like the 40,000 range. Uh, yeah. So emperorship is going to be really strong to help us expand and then and proclaim the kingdom of Prussia or the kingdom in Russia. We'll see. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Please share your support. Leave a like. It really helps the channel out a ton. This is our first episode, and uh, those first episode is kind of do or die for a campaign. So if you are excited to see some Prussian Space Marines, please leave a like. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below as well. And if you really want to see what we're doing here, we uh, have videos every single day. Make sure you subscribe and ding the bell. It'll send you a notification every single time we upload a video. And that's the best way to keep up to date if you're liking what we're doing. But that's all I got for you. So this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.